Hello and welcome back. Thank you so much for coming back. In today's video, we are testing coffee for hair growth. And I started this coffee challenge by washing my hair with a DIY coffee shampoo. Then I went on to put my hair into corn rolls, leaving out a small portion of hair for the experiment. I realized that my hair is longer in some parts and shorter in other parts and I wanted to work with a particular portion of hair. So I left out this portion so that we could measure it before and after the two weeks of uh, the experiment, we we'll measure the same portion to see if it works or not. I did apply some gel just to straighten my hair and get the exact or near exact measurement of my hair length. At the time, my hair was between the 10th and 11 inches mark, but I decided to trim it to 10. I felt like it would be much easier to figure out how much hair has grown if we start with a round number. <laughs> After that, I went on to put the section in a twist and attached it to the curl roll behind. To prepare the spray, I made use of two tablespoons of coffee powder. I added hot water to it and I allowed it for about four hours, after which I strained and transferred to a spray bottle. I made fresh coffee spray after 3 to 4 days. Conscious that there could be build-ups, I made use of a cotton fiber while transferring the spray into my spray bottle. I equally added lavender essential oil to the spray. Whenever I test a product, I like to use it in as many forms as possible. So I went on to prepare coffee oil to use alongside the coffee spray. So for this, I made use of a tablespoon of coffee powder and I really did not measure how much olive oil I added to it. I then mixed well and heated in a double boiler for about 15 to 20 minutes. After which, I sieved out the oil. I still passed the oil through a cotton fiber and this took so much time. So if you have a better way of doing it, just go ahead and do it, okay? At least I was comfortable with the quality of the oil I obtained at the end. On the first day of this experiment, I just sprayed my hair and scalp with the coffee spray. Then I went on to seal that moisture with the coffee oil. So the caffeine in coffee is supposed to stimulate hair growth, stop hair loss and make the hair thicker. There are other claims that it darkens the hair but we are not going to check that in this video. Our focus in this video is on the growth part of it and I'll also be sharing other things which I noticed as we go along. This was day 14 of using the coffee spray and oil every day on my hair and you can notice how rough my hair is but we'll find out soon if it's just rough or it has actually grown beyond normal. From time to time I massage my scalp with the tips of my fingers. If you are enjoying this video so far, please give it a thumbs up and kindly subscribe to my channel if you have not yet done so. 
it's finally day 15 and this is how my hair looks we're about to take measurements again so i went ahead and unraveled the twist from the portion of hair which we left to work with and just like i did at the start of the experiment i still made use of some gel to straighten my hair and get accurate measurement Bear in mind that everything being equal, like when I'm not stressed, when I eat healthy, I drink enough water, I moisturize my hair when necessary, and every other thing is okay. My hair grows 0.4 to 0.5 inches in two weeks. So keep that in mind before we see the results from this coffee experiment. Also remember that I trimmed my hair to 10 inches at the start of this experiment and right now my hair is at 11, almost 11, <laughs> wow. To be honest, when I took the measurement, I could not see the results myself until I took my hair down and I looked at the mark at which my hair was. I was like, what? Wow! <laughs> So did coffee help my hair to grow exceptionally in these two weeks? Hell yeah, it did. It definitely did. So I would recommend coffee anytime for exceptional hair growth. Did I get dandruff? I cannot say exactly right now. I'll have to observe my hair for a week or two after washing it. And if there is anything like dandruff, I'll let you know. But my hair was definitely very dirty. Look at my fingers. This is how much residue I noticed on my fingers after taking down a single corn roll. Also, I did not notice any unusual dryness that could cause breakage to my hair. Neither did my scalp itch in such a way that I could attribute it to coffee. You don't have to use coffee every day, okay? I did it for us to find out if it works or not and now we know it does. You could use it two to three times a week or just moisturize your hair when it's necessary. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel if you have not yet done so. I will see you in another video. Bye bye.